Yo, what's going on? It's Reps here. Um, just going to be bringing you an update video about the road talents, glyphs, all that great stuff, and what has changed, and what is probably going to be the best arena spec. Um, well, I'm pretty certain it will be as subtlety. And yeah, basically, I'm just going to be going over arenas, jewels, and all that great stuff, really. So let's get into it. Jeweling, shadow focus. Ability no longer costs energy while you are stealth. Obviously. This is gonna be like, what's it called? A, not a core, a like really great, amazing talent. Think about it. If you have shadow focus, you can pretty much get off your Garo into a full five point kidney without costing any energy from your opener. If that makes sense? Um, yeah, it doesn't work with shadow dance, but it's amazing. Um, this is another great talent actually. Your stealth breaks 3 seconds after dealing or receiving hostile actions, rather than doing so immediately. I would rather go with Shadow Focus, because you can get some really powerful openers. Um, Night Stalker, this is a really pointless talent. Increase your movement speed by 20 while well, stealth by 20%, which is actually 5% because you get a 15% increase from your... I don't know where it is, it's a passive. I think you get in any spec, but I know a sub you definitely get. It. Um, is actually good for your gear ropes, I guess. It increases damage by 25%. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool as well. It's more of a dueling sort of kind of talent. But for arenas, I'm gonna be able to tell you right now. This is gonna, these two are gonna be the main like talents to pick. Um, then we got deadly throw. Deadly throw. I actually found out something about this. If you notice, it actually silences. The target for five se Ooh, six seconds is it? Nice. So deadly throw is actually going to be pretty good in arenas as well. Imagine that focus deadly throw. Would you have to redirect it? I'm not sure how it works. Is it just instant? No. It's just instant. You don't require any. Or do you? Yeah, you do. And you so you basically if you get this talent here. You can just redirect Deadly Pro to the healer and that's a 6 second block out and then you can sap him out of that like without the combat sap. Um, so that's a great, amazing, beautiful talent. Nerve Strike, this is a dueling talent to be honest. Like, yeah you're really only going to need this one on one. A successful cheap shot, I mean kidney shot or cheap shot. Reduces damage dealt by the target by 50% for 6 seconds after the effect fades. So yeah, that's just more of a one-on-one -on -one sort of talent. Combat readiness would probably... These two would probably be the best for arenas. I would say deadly throw, but combat readiness is good as well. Wait, does preparation reset combat readiness? No, it doesn't, does it? No. But, say like you're an arena, they decide to hard switch the rogue. Combat readiness at least. Like if you haven't got any evasion or vanish and you don't have preparation so you can't reset them. Then at least you have combat readiness. Which is amazing. Oh yeah, as you will notice, actually I'll get to that later. It's the new talent prayer of the week. I'll get to that later. As I go down the amazing talent tree. Cheat death. Now at level 85, I'm gonna say go with cheat death. Or this is another good talent actually. Because I believe you can actually glyph so it costs no energy if you can then you can just spam it unless damage reduced by 30% and your base resilience at level 90 is 90% damage reduction so that's 100% damage reduction plus PvP power which brings it to around 80% damage reduction against other PvP geared level 90s so that is good if you want to spam it if it costs no energy if you can glyph it I'm not sure if you can or not I remember seeing a glyph that said faint costs no energy. Um, cheat death, yeah. Leeching poison at level 90. Leeching poison is going to be amazing. Due to the fact that we'll get deadly brew. Is it called deadly brew? Yeah, it's deadly brew which allows you to have a... 
any two poisons, or is it a non-lethal poison, has a chance to proc crippling onto your target, so you can have wound poison, deadly poison, and crippling poison on target, which is amazing. <laughs> um, rogues are going to be so crazy in Mr. Pandera. Everyone's saying that we're getting nerfed, and we're literally not. The next video I'm going to upload, like, my eviscerates are hitting like a truck. Let me just have a sip of my coffee. Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna go with cheat death for now because we're not level 90. So we we don't have deadly brew because they removed it, which is actually amazing. I don't know what's gonna happen in season 13, but maybe our gear will give us something else. Hopefully it will just be deadly brew where it will give it back to us as a talent because that was amazing. Like it was just so amazing. Like when we had deadly brew. As a talent, oh. but at level 90, I suppose it doesn't really matter until season 13, anyway. Okay, we have preparation and shadow step. These are obviously amazing for arenas. Preparation is um, it resets your vanish, cloak of shadows, sprint, evasion, and dismantle abilities. So, pretty much, you get two smoke bombs if you glyph it, I believe. Wait, where's smoke bomb? Does it not reset smoke bomb anymore? If it doesn't reset smoke bomb then I wouldn't even recommend picking this up. Unless you just want an extra vanish cloak of shadows and evasion and dismantle. Basically, instead of picking up preparation, I'm just gonna go with shadow step. Main reason, you can appear behind a target now, so it can be friendly or hostile. Movement speed is increased by 70 percent for two seconds afterwards. So I can say like I'm on Blades, Edge Arena, just jump off the bridge, shadow step back to the target, he will most likely follow me, and then he just got juked like a bitch. Burst of speed. Alright, uh, there's a problem with this talent. Um, it costs 60 energy. If it didn't cost 60 energy, I would most likely give it a go. But I only see it being good for battlegrounds to be honest. Like, I've had many rogues just say, go assassination with burst of speed. Main problem about that. Mutilate, costs 55 energy. Burst of speed, costs 60 energy. That's, you get 130 energy as assassination. Like, it's literally pointless, you're just gonna energy stuff. Burst of speed, it's a battlegrounds. Like, you could probably get away with it in rated battlegrounds actually. Because the CC and rated battlegrounds are crazy. <laughs> So yeah, burst of speed could be amazing in rated battlegrounds, especially if you if you've got the flag and you're just trying to get it back to your FC. But for arenas, I'm gonna say preparation and shadow step or shadow step. Alright, prayer of the week. Um, I'm not gonna pick this up to be honest. Or am I? I don't know. I'm gonna have a go with this, but this is only actually good like when you disable an enemy with cheap shot. Kidney shot, gouge, sap, or blind, they suffer 10% increased damage from all sources for the duration of the effect. So, if you can kidney shot someone and then go straight into a dance, they get an extra 10% damage. Well, you get an extra 10% damage increase, shall I say. Which is not a lot, but it will help out a lot. Kind of, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, paralytic poison. Coats a weapon with a non lethal poison that lasts for one hour. Each track has a 20% chance of poisoning the enemy for 15 seconds, stacks up to 5 times on a single target, and upon a fifth application, the enemy will be stunned for 4 seconds. Shiv causes instant paralyze of an enemy's lower body, rooting them in play. Oh, I didn't know about Shiv. Hmm. So that, that's basically like an improved hamstring for rogues. That's actually going to be pretty useful for peeling. If you shiv, that's actually pretty good. So I see that being amazing. But there is a problem. You can only have one non-lethal poison and one lethal poison on your like at a time. So for example, if I try to have deadly poison and scripting poison, I can do that because crippling is a non lethal and deadly is a lethal. But if I try to have crippling and wounds, they're both non lethal poisons, so it gets rid of my 
Wait, is that what? Yeah, let me see something. Mind numbing and wound won't work. What? They changed it again. Cause they're both non-lethal according to WoW Wiki. So does that mean I can have deadly and leeching? I mean not leeching, wound and leeching. If I can have wound and leeching, that means I'm at level 90, I can have wound, leeching and cripping. Mm. Blizzard are always changing things with poisons, it's really annoying. So paralytic poison, it is actually an off DR stun. Yes, that is correct, off DR stun. It, well, it has its own DR for every time you apply it. So like you apply it and you apply it again, it will be for like half the duration. So you have to wait around 20 seconds. But it won't share a DR with kidney, cheap shot and all that great stuff. You can also glyph cheap shot as well to increase it by one second. Mm. Epic coffee. Okay, dirty tricks. Your gouge and blind no longer have an energy cost and no longer break from damage dealt by poison and bleed effects. I love dirty tricks. That means if you you can I need to unglyph that. You can get rid of this glyph of blind to remove all damage overtime effects from the target, but there is a problem with that. If you go to blind a healer or a DPS in an arena and they have a dot on them, like UA or just anything really. They are basically gonna get broken out of that blind. So you're gonna have to wait for that. And then blind them. So yeah, I would really say just go. I don't know. It really depends. Because, like, it blind breaks from other people's damage, but it won't break from yours. Like, your bleeds, but it will break from someone else's bleeds. So that's gay right there. <laughs> so you can pick it up, but you have to wait for their dots to fall off of them before you blind them. Or you could just go over to Glyph and remove everyone's dots and blind them. Which would probably be the easier option. So, uh, yeah. It's out of these two, to be honest. Uh, so you can toss, or shiri can toss. I don't speak Japanese. Hunde, um, hunde! A range attack that deals 6.2k dam physical damage to an enemy target awards one combo point. Replaces for amazing for one on one. For arenas, I'm going for this. This baby right here. Your readout rate ability has no cooldown. No cooldown. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this? That means I can just always redirect kidneys and redirect deadly throws to a healer, which is overpowered. Well, I'm calling overpowered, but it's probably not. But it's just going to be so crazy. Like redirect has like a what is it, one minute cooldown or something, and now it is zero. Kidney uh, doesn't tell me. Kidney shot. Let me find out so I can be precise. Kidney shot is a 20 second cooldown. So that means you can always get them in a 5 point, which is a 6 second kidney, because it will be off DR by the time your kidney gets off cooldown. And. Oh, that felt good. In arenas, you need to be treating kidney as a pretty much a CC ability for your healers and whoever you're trying to just pretty much ruin. Mm. Mm, nice. right, this is actually a really good talent as well. When one of your attacks generate a combo point on a target that already has 5 combo points, you gain an anticipation charge up to a maximum of 5. When you perform an offensive finishing move on an enemy, any anticipation charges are consumed to grant you an equal number of combo points on that target. So basically, you get 5 combo points, you backstab the same target, you get a anticipation charge, you eviscerate, then you have one combo point. That is that's pretty good. If you get basically ten and ten what is it? Ten combo points basically, which is five anticipation charges and five combo point charges. What five combo points and five anticipation charges so this is getting really confusing. You can, if you had legendaries with that talent, oh my god, that would be overpowered. 
like you can just eviscerate, eviscerate again, <laughs> and then you're you basically got plus 50 energy from that because it's a finisher. So yeah, this is pretty with this middle talent here, old go. That is pretty much going to be the arena spec, but at level 90 it will probably be leeching poison or this faint ability or deadly throw. So yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of subtlety robes with this sort of build. I'm, I, I can call it right now. Assassination robes, people have been asking me. They're going to be viable in arenas, but like they miss out on shadow arms so they can't apply as much pressure in short little time but they are good so they're going to be in a lot of dot leaves i'm um, calling that <laughs> so like um rls i can see assassin rogues with rls because warlock dots plus assassination poisons it's gonna do a lot of overtime damage to be honest rmp it would be sub with a mage of course, because it's about getting as much damage off as possible. Basically burst, and sub is more bursty than assassination. But assassination has way more damage over time and all that crap. Combat is just PvE. <laughs> Literally, I don't see combat being any good at all in PvP. Mm. A dueling spec would probably be, I would say Shadow Focus, Nerve Strike, Cheat Death or Leech in Poison, Shadow Step, Burst, even Burst of Speed, Burst of Speed or Preparation. Preparation I would say because you can reset all your cooldowns. And Prayer of the Week or Day Tricks actually because yeah you can damage them whilst they're in a blind from all your bleeds and everything so that's basically a dueling spec. I'm cooling this right now, you're going to see a lot of builds like this for dueling and for arenas you're going to see it the other way which was like this interesting like that and then another point down here oh and with jewels obviously you're going to want this magic star thing because <laughs> you can just kite people all day melees, you can just kite them so yeah um yeah I might as well spec into that actually I don't know about Paralytic Poison, I might need to have, what's it called, level 90 so I can get my Deadly Brew Talon. Oh whatever, I'm just going to spec into it. Cool. I'm going to be doing some videos on that spec later on. And I'm going to upload that straight away, so I'm going to go do that now. And yeah, this is reps, talents, all that great stuff. Pet battles, everything, coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this little video. I tried my best to go over as much things as I could. Um, if I missed anything out, let me know and I will go over it again and I will be more detailed because like I'm drinking the coffee and now the caffeine has just started to kick in so now I'm starting to get in a really good mood so yeah, I'm starting to get really hyper so yeah um, this is Reps and if you like the video be sure to hit subscribe, like, favourite, tell your friends shout on Facebook and yeah cool, laters <laughs>